Well, welcome everybody. My name is Chris Roth and I'm here with fellow Visio MVP Scott Helmers and he's here to talk about reports in Visio 2010. Now Scott, I know you can add shape data fields to Visio shapes and right. you can enter numerical and textual data behind that and we're going to talk about a lot of that in other videos in this series. Right. But uh, the data does not always show up in the shapes visually so what can you do with this? Is it just sitting there just waiting for a rainy day? Or? <laughs> there are a lot of things you can do with the data in the shapes, Chris. Um, we're going to talk about things like data graphics in another video in this series but my focus right now is to talk about reports. There are a lot of ways that you can extract that data and present it in meaningful ways, useful ways for business purposes based on that shape data as you suggest. But the business problem I have at the moment is I've got this circuit diagram and I really need to know how many of each of those little widgets is, exists on this page. I could sit there and count them, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on the review tab and the shape reports button. What appears is something called an inventory report. Now every Visio template includes the inventory report. It is just as simple as it sounds. Let me click the run button. I'm going to choose HTML as the first type of output here. When I click OK, what Visio does for me is build an instant web page, which you now see. And it, it contains exactly what I need to solve my problem. How many of each widget there is on this particular page. Well, that's your problem. You only have two flip-flops. Ah, there it is. I, I should have had a third one. Okay. Now, that's one type of diagram. Let's switch to another. Here's a network diagram. I've got a network in the lower left, one in the over, upper right. Many of these shapes have data, as you see in the shape data window. So here's a PC and another PC and a laptop. The network diagram template includes several reports that give me detail sliced in various ways. I'm going to choose PC report, click run, and let's go back to the instant web pages, choose HTML. And now I, what I see is data about each PC, which version of Windows it runs, memory, disk drive capacity, and so forth. Back to the shape reports again. This time I'm going to run the network equipment report. Again to HTML. And now I see very detailed data about the network devices, including IP addresses and manufacturer. Whatever data is there, we can report on it. And I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to go back to the simple inventory report, but I want to show you something that you haven't seen yet. Click Run. This time I'm going to choose Visio Shape as the output type. When I click OK, what Visio actually does for me is create a report and it drops it right onto the page. So it now becomes another shape on the page. And this report, by the way, can be updated dynamically. So for example, notice that we have two printers according to this report. If I choose this printer and delete it, all I need to do is right click and choose run report. Right click on the report itself, choose run report, and now we see printer equals one. So that's a good way to provide the person using your Visio diagram with extra information just by embedding that report object right on the page. And it's a lot more portable. It's right there in the document. You don't have to send a separate HTML file or Excel. That's, that's correct. One last example. I'm going to go to a Visio space plan. What you're looking at here is a manager's office with a conference table, an admin assistant's office in the lower left, and some unused space in the lower right. These shapes also have data in them. Notice this is a visitor, visitor's office. It says it's vacant. The reports in this template are so important that they're actually right in the stencil. So notice there's a space report. I'm just going to drop that here on the page, and instantly I get a report on each space and its square footage in the case of, of a US template. Back once more to the stencil, I'm going to drag an asset report onto the page. And now I get a list of all the assets in my space plan, chairs and couches and so forth. You've got the makings of a little facilities management solution here, Scott. That's right. Now, all of the reports you've shown were pre-built. They come with Visio? That's correct. That's correct. Those are all ones that are built into the various templates that I've shown you. Can you create your own? You sure can. In fact, you can even modify the existing reports. You Let's can create your own. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at how we do that. I guess it's not so hard, huh? We're going to click the shape, re shape Reports button to start. And I could take any of these reports, like the Space Report, and I could click the Modify button. That would actually launch me into a wizard, and I could go through about five or six dialog pages to change the parameters of the report that would be generated. Instead, what I'm going to do is generate a new report. What I'm interested in is solving another business problem. I want to know how my space is utilized, so I want an occupancy report. So we're going to click the New button. Here's that wizard I mentioned now for creating a new report. 
At the top, you choose which shapes you want this report to apply to. And I'm actually going to click the Advanced button because I want to be quite specific. I happen to know that the shapes I care about are the ones that have a field called Occupancy. So I'm going to set the second dropdown to Exists and click the Add button. That sets a criterion for this report that says only run this report against shapes that have that Occupancy field. Click OK. Click Next. Now I choose the fields that I actually want to see. There's a Capacity field that says how much a space can hold. There's a Name field and an Occupancy field. So those three fields are sufficient. I give this report a name, call it Occupancy. Click the Subtotals button because I want a total for both Capacity and Occupancy. Click OK. I'm going to click the Sort button. Now I'm not going to change the sort sequence, although you notice you can on the right side of this dialog. But what I want to do is I want to move the name up because I want the name field to appear first in my report. Click OK. Click Next. Once again, provide a name. This time, the first name was the name that will appear inside the report. This is the name of the report definition itself. Click Finish. And now all I need to do is click Run. Let's do this to an HTML page. Click OK. And there it is. I can see that I have three office spaces and two of them are occupied. So it's that easy to create a custom report. Very impressive, very impressive. So if you've got data laying around behind in your shapes, folks, you can generate reports and get a picture out of them even if you can't see the data in the Visio drawing. And it just takes a few clicks to create your own. That's correct. Like that. So thanks for showing us that, Scott. You're welcome. Very nice. Thanks, Chris.